And that off. Six runners over two and a half miles and 11 flights in the grade two Rhett Batty and Glenview Studs hurdle. Shortish enough run to the first flight on the inside it's Beacon Edge. Attended by the two greys, Asturian Forlange and Phil Dor, HMS Seahorse, followed by Monkfish, and dropped in last of the sextet, Master McShee. On the way towards the second flight, on the turn into the straight, the leader is just Beacon Edge from Asturian Forlange to check colours, then Phil Dor, parked out wide, HMS Seahorse, the green jacket, and then Monkfish and Master McShee. Flight number two. It's Beacon Edge, the leader under Rachel Blackmore from Asterian for Lange. Paul Town in disputing second place with Phil Dor and Keith Donahue. With them on the outside, HMS Seahorse and Sean O'Keefe, followed by Monkfish, Danny Mullins on board the returning A-lister. And the back marker is Master McSheen in power. Turning in for the first of two flights, bringing them to the stands, the leader, it's just Beacon Edge from our Asturian for Lange, Phil Dor in the centre. On the outside is HMS Seahorse, followed by Monkfish and Master McSheen. First flight in the straight. Beacon Edge just backed off it. Leads to the flight in front of the stands, our Asturian for Lange and Phil Dor. HMS Seahorse is two behind Monkfish and Master McSheen. Order pretty much unchanged. Jump in the flight, that'll be the last one next time. In the Red Barry and Glenview Studs Hurdle. Beacon Edge the leader by length to a trio contesting the second spot. Phil Dorden between HMS Seahorse and Asturian for long. Three lengths back to Monkfish and Master McShee. Circuit to go, seven flights left to jump. As they make this turn, Beacon Edge, joined by both HMS Seahorse and Phil Dor, laying off them in a fourth Asturian for long, who's followed by stable companion Monkfish with Master McShee the back marker. On to the first of two flights along the side of the track. And it's Beacon Edge, leading Phil Dor, HMS Seahorse, Asturian for Lange, who flicks through it, and then Monkfish and Master McShee, the grade one novice winner over fences, continues to see them all at the back of the field. Second flight past the stands, Beacon Edge, HMS Seahorse in between them, Asturian for Lange and Phil Dor with the final couple, Monkfish and Master McShee. Up to the highest point of the track they go. As they reach the halfway stage, Beacon Edge with a slender advantage from HMS Seahorse, Phil Dor the red and white, attended by Asturian for Lange and then Master McShee and Monkfish keeping each other company at the back of the field. Nine furlongs to go, five flights left to jump. It's Beacon Edge, continuing to go along in the lead from HMS Seahorse, who's wide of both Phil Dor and Asturian for Lange. Master McShee races in company with Monkfish. The flight brings them back to their point of departure. Beacon Edge, followed by Phil Dor, HMS Seahorse, Asturian for Lange. Monkfish on the inside with tongue lolling out, and then Master McShee. Six and a half furlongs to go and four flights to jump. Beacon Edge by three parts to Phil Dor, just in front of HMS Seahorse, then Asterian for launch, tracked by Monkfish and Master McShee. Four to jump, the flight which was their first, they have three quarters of a mile to go. Beacon Edge landed with a definite one and a half length advantage over HMS Seahorse, Phil Dor and Asterian for launch. And Trio continuing to mix it for the second place. And then Monkfish and Master McShee, although the back marker very much in touch with five furlongs to go. All to play for with three flights to jump. Beacon Edge on the rail from Phil Dor, HMS Seahorse, followed by Asterian for Lange. Monkship. Monkfish has moved away from the running rail, brought now to the outside. And then Master McShee with half a mile to go. It's Beacon Edge to the home turn. Phil Dor. Now been asked in second. HMS Seahorse round the outside, then Asterian for launch, Monkfish and Master McShee. Turning in for the final two flights. Beacon Edge, Asfer, 
Something more, HMS Seahorse poised is Australian for launch, coming into it, Monkfish, Phil Dor is boxing on in the centre and Master Mekshi on the outside. Coming down to the second last, it's Beacon and Edge with coming there very strongly, one off the rail, Asterian for Lounge, followed by HMS Seahorse, Monkfish, weakening is Phil Dor and then Master Mekshi. One flight left to jump and it's Asterian for Lounge from on the inside, Beacon and Edge. Monkfish is trying to get to terms with them. The final flight, it's Asterian for Lounge, who winged it from Monkfish on the outside. In third place is Beacon Edge, they got 100 yards to go. It's Austerian for Lounge leading home a Willie Wallens 1 2. Austerian for Lounge beat Monkfish in third place. Beacon Edge, well clear of HMS Seahorse, Master Max Shea. Last is Phil Dore as Austerian for Lounge goes one better than Austerian. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.